Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. In today's video, I'll be rating all the fragrances from Kayali, which are the ones worth getting, which should you pass on. I will be telling you everything you need to know and be rating each individual fragrance. So let's get straight into it. For those of you who aren't familiar with Kayali, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. So Kayali is part of Huda Beauty and it was created by Monokotan. I believe Huda also had some input, but anyways, Kayali means my imagination in Arabic and it is Mona's imagination that has inspired a lot of these fragrances. So, which I think is really nice because fragrance kind of makes you dream and I like the fact that she's sharing that with her creations. I also like the fact that the perfumes are meant to be layered. That totally speaks to me because I love layering my perfumes. Like I very rarely wear one fragrance these days. I'm always testing out new perfumes and I also like to mix them together. So I think that's very cool and that is something definitely to, worth trying with the collection. So I'm going to start off with the light, some of the lighter fragrances and the first one that I have is Citrus 08 and actually each of the names on the bottle you have a little number after it which basically is the number of trials that it took to create this fragrance. So Citrus 08, what does this perfume smell like? Well as the name suggests it is a citrus dominant perfume and this is a beautiful juicy citrus musky scent with some floral touches. So you're gonna find some grapefruit, bergamot with a pop of rhubarb, all wrapped around with roses and musk. I really, really like this fragrance. It is clean, fresh smelling, and it's not like a basic, boring citrus fragrance. The only perfume that it reminds me, and the only reason why I'm saying this is because I have this perfume in my collection and I tested the two side by side, super similar, this reminds me of Ophidi by Christian Provenzano, which is an expensive niche fragrance. And the fact that this is more affordable is super nice. And both perfumes are fantastic. Like you probably haven't heard of Ophidi. So I think this is a great fragrance to try from Kayali. This is like a watercolor of citruses, dewy floral petals, beautiful fragrance. If you like fresher florals, some musks, and juicy citruses, this fragrance is going to be for you. With regards to performance, on my skin it lasts between five to six hours with a moderate projection, which isn't bad for a citrus fragrance. So I'm gonna rate this fragrance an eight out of 10 and I would highly recommend it to you ladies. Next, we have Musk 12 and this fragrance is like your ultimate baby doll femininity in a bottle. It is a perfume for those of you who love white musks. This is white musk heaven, 100%. I may be a little bit biased because I love musky perfumes and this is right up my alley. It is like your clean skin but better type of fragrance. So if you want like a no fragrance fragrance day, this is one that I would recommend you reach out for. If you like clean reserve skin, it's very similar to it, so you, there's a good chance you'll also like this perfume. Delicate cocooning musks that really wrap around you like a warm, fuzzy blanket. It's soft and just really comforting. Oh, I love, love this fragrance. You can wear it on its own for like that clean skin but better kind of scent, or it's a great fragrance to layer, and I would recommend layering this with more of the floral fragrances from the collection. And with regards to performance, on my skin it lasts easy eight hours with a strong projection, which means I can smell it all throughout the day, which I very much enjoy. So because I love a musky fragrance, I'm gonna rate this scent an eight out of 10. Next up, we have Deja Vu White Flower 57. Now, this is a white floral amber fragrance, which contains the holy trinity of white florals. You have jasmine, tuberose, and orange blossom. There's also some fruity notes with pear and nectarine. Now, I'm not a fan of this fragrance. I'm not convinced by this scent. I find it to be too sweet for my liking. And you know how much I love creamy white florals. Like that is my jam. It's like one of my favorite fragrance categories. So I was really disappointed when I didn't like this fragrance. So yeah, to me it is too sweet. And frankly, 
It smells a little bit basic, if I dare say. It's not something for me that is truly outstanding. So for me, this fragrance is a pass. You may want to try it. It's not terrible. So I'm going to rate this fragrance a six out of 10. Now a floral fragrance that I can totally back and get behind is Elixir 11. This perfume is amongst my top two. My top two favorites from Kayali. It is a beautiful floral fruity fragrance and it's not sticky, it's not too sweet. In my opinion, this is done just right. Oh, I really need to get a full size bottle of this fragrance. It smells so good. So to me, this perfume smells like an ice cold Fanta grape soda. I know, just, just hearing me out blended with some patchouli and fresh dewy rose. It may sound a little bit weird, but I get like, yeah, a Fanta grape vibe from this scent. It is a, it has like a fruity note in, in it for sure. It's not grape, it's actually red apple, but for some reason, this is what my nose picks up. So it might not be the same for you, but for me, this is what it is. And I just love the fact that the florals are very fresh. It's like dewy rose petals. That is what, I get from this fragrance and then you have like some woods in the background to really anchor the perfume. Oh, this is so stunning. It is sexy, feminine. It's a confident boosting perfume. This would be a great signature fragrance. So you could wear all year round, very versatile during the day, during the night for pretty much all occasions. Like this I think would be a staple to get for a perfume collection. And performance wise, this fragrance lasts eight hours on my skin with a strong projection, which is fab because it is a great fragrance. So I'm gonna rate this fragrance a 9.5 out of 10. Next, we have Eden Juicy Apple 01. This perfume is the one that I dislike the most from the entire collection. I really, do not like this fragrance. I don't think I'm the right consumer for this scent either because it is an overly fruity, sweet fragrance and that's just not my vibe. I find that this perfume smells cheap, if I'm honest. It reminds me of like some Victoria's Secret or like Bath and Body Work body sprays, but it's like the ones that are overly fruity and sweet. Like there's some great ones from Victoria's Secret and from Bath and Body Works, but this is like really like the overly like red berries, sweet candied, sweet, fruity fragrance. Yeah, this is not my jam. If you love this kind of fragrance DNA, you're gonna love Eden Apple, like for sure. But for me, it's not my thing. I don't like the way that it develops on my skin either. It becomes like too sugary, syrupy, sweet. Not my jam. Yeah, for me, this fragrance is a pass. And in terms of longevity, it's like not that great either. On my skin, it lasts around like four, five hours max. So I'm gonna rate this fragrance a four out of 10. Okay, this next fragrance I wasn't convinced with initially. And then the more I wore it, the more I was like, huh, like there's really something there. So it is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. And this is a girly girl fragrance. Like this fragrance is giving me pink princess vibes. I love it, like she's cute, she dresses nice, she perhaps accessorizes with a little like Chanel beige bag, French Manny and Petty, perfectly air wrapped hair. I mean, you get the point. Like this is the ultimate girly girl in a bottle. So this perfume smells really like a sweet candied Middle Eastern rose. It is complemented with some pink pepper, saffron, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. If you like fragrances such as Rose Vanille from Mansera or Rose Musk from Montal or even Gentle Fluidity Gold, you're going to really like the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. It is a very likable fragrance. I feel like this could easily be one of the most complimented perfumes from the whole line. Yeah, this is a perfume that's sexy, that's feminine. You, I would wear this more during the nighttime. I feel like it makes more of a statement and yeah, performance wise, it's very good as well. It lasts eight hours with moderate projection. So I'm gonna rate this fragrance an eight out of 10. Now, if there's one fruity fragrances that I can totally vouch for that I would 100% recommend is the new release, which is La Fest Burning Cherry 48. This perfume smells so freaking amazing. The only issue, the only issue is the performance. <laughs> it lasts 
four hours or so on the skin and then projects for like one to 1.5 hours. So it's very short lived. And I think that's such a shame because it is a beautiful fragrance. So this fragrance oh, is like a spicy, dark cherry scent. It is incredible, like dark cherries that would like stain your fingers. And immediately as you smell the perfume, you get some like spicy smoky notes coming from Gayak wood. And there's also some other woods going on. There's like a spicy dry amber woody accord, I find anyways, in the dry down, which just makes this fragrance so incredibly addictive. It is a really good cherry scent for sure. Very sexy. I would recommend wearing this in the evenings. Definitely, if you just, you know, want to spice up your whole look, I would definitely reach out for this fragrance. Now, how does it compare to Lost Cherry by Tom Ford? Well, Lost Cherry is, I find more concentrated in the cherry. It's like liquid cherry concentrate. So it's even sweeter, I would say, than um, this fragrance. And it's more intense on the cherry. So, and also I find that it does project better and is a little bit more long lasting than this perfume. That being said, if you can't afford Lost Cherry, definitely check out La Fest Burning Cherry. You can get like these little travel sprays to see how it works for your skin. I mean, I highly recommend this fragrance. If it wasn't for the performance, it would be ranked higher up. So this to me is a seven out of 10. Next up, we have my favorite fragrance of all time from Kayali. It is Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. This perfume is a 10 out of 10. Yes, I adore this fragrance. It is a beautiful, creamy coconut as we love them. And it's like, yeah, it's gonna take you on a holiday. Like I live in London, in the UK, it rains a lot. And there's some fragrances that I like to wear and smell even in winter, if it's like just cold and miserable and I wanna have like a sense of escapism, be like on a tropical beach or something. Like this is the kind of fragrance that will bring you to a tropical destination, a holiday where it's like just good vibes. So this is the type of fragrance that Utopia Vanilla Coco is about. Very creamy coconuts, very indulgent. It has like suntan lotion vibes. It is delicious. And I just love the way this smells. I have so many coconut fragrances in my collection, but I just, I really, really love this. To me, this perfume is Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain's younger sister. Like she's younger, more playful, and like a little bit more carefree. If you like Terracotta Le Parfum and you want something that's a little sweeter and perhaps a little bit more youthful, I would recommend you try out Utopia Vanilla Coco. 10 out of 10, performance wise, this lasts nine hours on my skin with a strong projection. So yeah, I love this scent and it's my favorite from Kayali. We have two more fragrances left and this next one is called Invite Only Amber 23. This is a sour cherry amber scent. I'll let that sink in for a second. This perfume I'm absolutely loving. It's spicy, you have cinnamon, there's tobacco and woods. It's a very warm and sensual fragrance. It's also more on the unisex side, like all the fragrances I find from Kayali are very feminine leaning, but this one is unisex and like bang in the middle. And it is a lighter amber fragrance. It's not gonna be too sweet or resinous, which I think is super nice. It smells luxurious and expensive, like literally the bottle, the color is perfect for this fragrance. And I think this could be a really nice autumn to winter staple to have in your collection. It's also a great perfume for layering. I mean, all these are great for layering, but this one in particular with the must one is like chef's kiss. So the two layering combinations I would recommend with this perfume is first off with Love Fest Burning Cherry. Like that is the best combination. Both fragrances have cherry, spicy. I mean, the ingredients just go so well together. And then the second layering combo is with the vanilla, which I'll talk about in just a minute. So this perfume with regards to performance on my skin lasts 12 hours. So it has I think this is the most long lasting one actually on my skin. So the performance is really good. That being said, there are other fragrances that I prefer within the Kayali collection. So I'm gonna rate this fragrance a seven out of 10. 
And finally, we have a good vanilla. It is Vanilla 28. Now this fragrance is a very straightforward, edible, yummy vanilla. If you like sweeter vanillas, this perfume is gonna be right up your alley. It's not a fragrance that is difficult to understand. I find that it is very easy going, easy to wear. This perfume to me smells like vanilla extract. So that's what you would use for baking, of course, it is embellished with like patchouli, there's some woods as well, and on my skin it dries down a little spicy. The dry down is outstanding of this perfume, I will say. It is very sexy, it's intimate, it, there's something very warm and comforting about it, but at the same time it is a crazy sexy perfume. So if you want a vanilla that isn't too complicated to understand, that is sexy and that will get the job done, this is one that I would reach out for. And with regards to the performance, on my skin it lasts between 10 to 12 hours, so again another very good performing fragrance. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite Kayali fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.